Welcome to Torrential Riff, episode 46. Today's band focus is Guardian. Fire and Love. This is going to be an interesting uh, review here, so just uh, stay tuned. Uh, originally released in 1990. Am I right here? 1990. In Pachyderm. So this was the first release with the new singer, Jamie Rowe. Uh, and the new drummer, I think, uh, Carl Ney. So yeah, Jamie Rowe, Tony Policio, David Bach, and Carl Ney on drums. Sure the boys here. Produced by John and Dino Elefante. They released it on Packing Arm Records, and this is also, so, all right, so let's, uh, let's bring everything out here. So we got one, two, three. So you got all three. So the original releases in 1990. This is the new remaster reissue in 2017 on uh, Retroactive. Retroactive with Matthew Hunt. Uh, remaster is done by Rob Caldwell. Uh, layout done by Scott Waters. There we go. All right, so let me show you the difference. We'll, we'll talk about the remaster in a second. So here are the two. Um, what's the difference between these two? Let's get it right here. One's released by Word Epic. The other is produced by Pachyderm. So Pachyderm got a license with Word. Uh, so Guardian was able to be in regular bookstores and not just Christian bookstores. Um, pretty much everything's the same. There's Tony here, wailing. This is a solid record start to finish. Was fire love. Love the song. Um, yeah, so the uh, inserts are exactly the same. Um, except again, this has word on it. Epic word. The CDs are slightly different. The So I'm playing the, um, the word version. The word version doesn't have this black piece, the uh, black here with Fire and Love, but everything else is pretty much the same. I only, I only picked up, and you're probably asking, well, why did I get two versions? I think I saw the word version, uh, a discounter for like five bucks, so I just picked it up. Um, no particular reason, just by having a different version. Alright, so let's look into the remaster reissue. See Legends Remastered. Let's crack this open here. All right, so let's take a look at the front cover. Looking at these front covers, the original looks better. The faces are more easy to see. Let me show you the new one. See how you can barely see Jamie? Let's get the glare out of here. You can barely see Jamie's face here. See a lot closer here. So the color in the background is better. You can see it's been colored. Um, Scott colored it in the background to make it look a little pop a little more. The Fire and Love is a little bit darker. But the Christmas of the, the picture is definitely better on the originals. We have the new one. Not, you know, not a make or break. It's fine. Let's take a look at the inside. So here's the disc here. Which one do I have here? Um, so yeah, obviously much better than the original. With the band photo, Guardian, Fire and Love. Really like the picture disc. And underneath. We got another picture of the guys in the band from the from the back, and then he's got the guardian up top, 
And he's got the fire going. Fire and love. I think that's the theme he was going for. It looks good. Like that. This page. Uh, he brought back the original logo here. Which is fine, but they kind of dumped it for this record. I don't really know why. Maybe because of the band change with the different singer. Um, that's fine. But this whole section right here... Is there's nothing there? I almost would rather have this moved into the middle than have the uh, the members there. That's just me. Let's take a look on the inside here. Uh, okay, we've got easy to read lyrics. All the all the songs here. Not too much going inside. No pictures. Um, let's get a synopsis here by Matthew Hunt. Yes. Tony's a beast of a guitarist. Okay. Um, what does it got? Like, that's pretty much it. Not too much else going on. Oh. Uh, I noticed in the new one, they don't tell you who writes the songs, who the song, who, who wrote all the different songs. On the original, in these liner notes, it tells you all the, the who wrote what what songs. So that was not in the new reissue. Not that again, not not a big deal. But if some people like to know who wrote what songs, the old one has the uh, who wrote what. Um, this one does have a bonus track. Take up your cross. Uh, someone correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe that was taken from that acoustic record they made. Uh, maybe they just threw it on here. Honestly, to me, the song doesn't go with the rest of the record. But yeah, they just threw that in there for a bonus track. I could do without it. It's an acoustic one. Um, okay, so all right, so we went through the packaging. The remaster by Rob. The original always sounded fantastic, amazing. So I didn't know what he could really do on the new remaster. So I went back and forth, forth with these with uh, headphones, switching the discs, and there's not a big difference. The new one does have a little bit more low-end bass, but to the average person, I don't think you're really going to notice. If you have the old one, I don't think you need to upgrade, to be quite honest. Obviously, if you never got this and you can't find it and it's too expensive, obviously get the new one. Um, that's why a lot, of the, well, a lot of these labels put these out, because you have new fans or fans that just never got the CD or the vinyl, and they're putting them, putting them out to reissue them. So pick up the new one, of course. Um, you know, Is it worth your money getting in, up, upgrading this? In my, in my opinion, no. Again, very minor upgrade in sound. So that's just my opinion. Also, I noticed like the Guardian is really high up near the top here, and it's a little bit lower here. All right, guys, hold on one second. Oh, sorry about that. Take care of my son here. Um, what else we got? So yeah, I mean, other than that, uh, it's not too much. The backs are pretty much the same. Get the Pachyderm logo here. Tony is just a beast. Great, another great song. All the songs are killer. I'll get audio strikes for this, but I don't care. Definitely much more bluesier than first, first watch with uh, the original singer, Paul. Uh, with Jamie's vocals, they were able to go more in the bluesy direction. So yeah, great record. Um, definitely recommend it. Get 
pick up the new one if you don't if you already have if you have never had the original definitely pick up the new one um, I think that's gonna be about it for this uh, issue here this issue this uh, podcast um, like subscribe share hit the bell button so you get the I try to release these every day I'm gonna keep going as long as I can and uh, you'll get them usually on 12 o'clock on Eastern time and um, they'll drop right into your inbox uh, feel free to leave any comments or corrections, uh, any mis- mistakes I make. I'm not perfect, I don't have a perfect memory, or I don't know all everything. So, Or if you have more information that you can add to to these bands or this release, please, please add them. Alright guys, that's going to be it for tonight. Rock on, have a good night. Later.